uh, Sunday, August the 2nd. Well, Larry and I and Tony have been kicking around just what to specialize in the oven. And I've had the most positive response off apples. So I bought this apple core tonight and some of these big red delicious apples. And I snagged this at the grocery store. This is what they sell soup out of. And that would be used as an insulator when you sell that thing hot out of the oven wrapped wrapped in aluminum foil. So that's what I'm doing. There's my brown sugar and spice bowl. And I'm going to pack where this core used to be with brown sugar and spice. And let it sit overnight and we'll cook them in the oven tomorrow. This is Monday, uh, August the 3rd. Our little dog Lola has uh, adopted the underside of the oven as her dog house. She loves to lay underneath it. This shade, for some reason, is much better than any of the other shade. It's pretty interesting. She's really adopted this thing. Like a fire dog. Uh, it's 15 after 12. I'm at 200.5 degrees. I've got about four quarts of that uh, gumbo that I made yesterday in. And uh, I'm also doing a new baking experiment with uh, cinnamon rolls. Actually, these are sourdough biscuits, a sourdough biscuit recipe with the cinnamon uh, brown sugar mix that I'm using on four baked apples. We're going to we're going to pursue this baked apple thing, and I think baked apples are a great product for this. I really like how this oven makes an apple. So, as a cash flow kind of thing, and then we've been doing some hot dog experiments, cooking hot dogs, and I've got a pretty good recipe for uh, boiling a hot dog and. That's a real fast thing for this thing to cook, too. So, hot dogs and uh, baked apples. Sounds like a winner to me. Uh, on the site, I posted about roasting corn, and after having tried to sell a little bit of corn a month ago, it's just too messy. I don't want the butter dripping all over the sidewalks, and I'm trying to find something that's not so messy on just the surroundings. And, there was a lot of butter everywhere, and it was 100 degrees, so the butter melted, you know. Uh, I think we've got this uh, apple problem solved, though. We're, we've got it in a nice little consumer kind of, consumer-friendly package. We'll see. I'm cooking up four red, golden, delicious apples with the, with the uh, cores taken out and them sliced into wedges. So, makes eight wedges, so it's, it's a pretty cool deal. We'll see how it goes. This is the uh, baked apple I was going on about. That's an 8 inch paper cup. The apple is baked inside the foil in the oven. You just peel it back. The cup acts as an insulator no matter how hot the apple is. And uh, this apple has been cooking this morning for like two hours. And I'm going to see how done it is. Well, the apple is delicious. I got a core, as you can see. We're going to serve it with a fork. Another 45 minutes, this rascal would be done. It's just a little bit undercooked. Down in the bottom, what I did last night, I just put uh, brown sugar and uh, the cinnamon and seasoning mixture in the apple, and in the bottom of the tin foil is a is a little. Uh, you can see that. That's all the fluid out of the apple. That's just apple juice. I didn't add any water to these do uh, red delicious apples. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. This is kind of cool. Uh, my uh, cinnamon biscuits are starting to brown on the top rack. The ones in the bottom down there I had underneath a black plate that's in the pan. That, those are down inside the pan with the apples. There's an apple sitting on one of the biscuits. But uh, I took that plate off a while ago to check the stew to see how it was heating and uh, just left it off. Being exposed to the light really makes a big difference. These things are really starting to brown now. Really amazing. I think I'm going to turn the pans around and take that lower pan and stick it up on the rack. <laughs> 